Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do more missing women, children, and men cases. We are here to break the codes if we see any. We are here to see where their bodies are located, if they know. And we also here to see if they are alive, deceased, body suited, change your identity, or misidentity. This happened one on a lot, okay? Um, Y'all should know who's involved, the white supremacists, the African Americans, and the KKK. So let's begin. This is about a young woman named Quintina, Q-U-I-N-T-I-N-A, Jeffries, J-E-F-F-E-R-I-E-S, was murdered. Boyfriend commits suicide days later. This is how she looks. She looks familiar. I heard Amber Lewis, okay? I do not know yet. Looks like her. It was a grisly scene at the home of Quintina Jeffries in early December 2019. Oh, Raven Lewis. According to a report by WSJM, Quintina and her boyfriend, Samuel Brown, was moving into a home together in Benton Harbor, Michigan on Sunday, December the 8th. Sometime before noon, 29-year-old Quintina was shot four times, including one fatal hit to the head. Immediately following the discovery of her body, investigators reached out to the public in hopes of attaining information that would lead to a suspect. It wasn't until Tuesday that the pieces began to fall into place, but unfortunately it was only after Quintina's boyfriend, Samuel, committed suicide. On the day that he took his life, Samuel, okay, so some of you go on Nino Brown. Samuel reportedly attended a Benton Harbor Dole Rasket basketball game and all seemed normal however the benton harbor department of public safety told fox 17 that when they were on the cusp of serving a search warrant on samuel's home they was informed that he killed himself this incident started as a domestic assault that ended in the senseless death of Quintina jeffrey Police reportedly said of the tragic incident, Quintina Jeffries leaves behind an eight-year-old son. I'm hearing food. I send my sincerest condolences to her loved ones. She is our sister and her life matters. Okay, so if y'all would like to help with this case, y'all can. I don't do it for the fame or the money. I do it because it's what I love to do. And she said yes. Yes, thank you, she said. Raven Lewis, y'all, from Tissa County, Texas. I'm here Raven Givens, too, but I think Raven Lewis, okay, y'all? Hopefully, y'all enjoy. Thank you.